we're going to write the skeletal formula here. The skeletal formula, also called the bond line formula for butanone. It's also called butan 2 ohn Either one of those names is okay. So we're given this molecular formula right here. That gives us a lot of information. I've also given you the molecular model for butanone. So structural formula, we have one, two, three, four carbons in a row. And you can see that down here, one, two, three, four. On that second carbon, there's a double bonded oxygen. They show that right here. So let's write the structural formula for butanone, and then we'll write the skeletal or the bond line formula. So I'm going to put four carbons in a row. So remember, carbon is going to have four bonds. So this carbon has one, two, three, four. This carbon has the one, two, three, four four, this carbon, one, two, three, four. So that helps us with our structural formula for uh, butan 2 ohn So I'm going to put that double bonded oxygen right here on the second carbon, then I'll put the hydrogens in. So that's the structural formula for butanone here. We have four carbons, double bonded oxygen, and each carbon only has four bonds. If you count everything up, it'll match what we have here. For the skeletal formula, we're going to go one, two, three, four carbons. One, two, three, four carbons. Carbons are right here. We've used all four. And on the second carbon, double bond, move this down. So that's our skeletal formula or our bond line formula for butanone. As an organic chemist, since I know carbon bonds to four things, I know where the hydrogens will be here around the carbons. Give me a little more information about the molecular geometry for butanone. The structural formula is nice. It shows us how they're connected, but the skeletal formula gives us a little bit of the geometry there. Kind of nice, plus just less cluttered. That's it. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.